Hey guys, uh, it's me, Charlie, and welcome to Everyday Charlie, where I am Charlie every day. And uh, it's a Christmas edition. Yay, Christmas bow. Um, I didn't really get anything crazy. I didn't really buy anything crazy. Um, the dishwasher's done. But now it's a coffee maker, sorry. But um, I figure it's Christmas and this is the time to go over the top knives of the year and now some of these you guys will recognize that I've done other ones you won't because I didn't review them but uh, these are all knives that I've gotten this year this isn't all the knives I've gotten this year uh, if you look carefully you will not see a Civivi Elementum button lock neither one nor two because uh well it's happened again um i showed a friend the knife and they really liked it so i gave them the knife uh kind of as a quasi great gift christmas uh, yeah yeah that'll go with it a griftmas grif present but um no i got quite a bit of cool stuff this year and, and some garbage too um I suppose let's start off with uh, honorable mentions. Um, this one, which you guys have probably been wondering about, uh, this was <laughs> every year my friend, Cuz Will, you know, classy, classy Cuz Will, and I, uh, well, the past couple years anyway, we do the Shit Knife Derby, and this is the knife that he sent me for the Shit Knife. And uh, last year I lost. In a valiant effort, I ended up losing in the end. This year, not so much. And this is the horse that carried me across the line. Uh, it is garbage. I got the okay to tape it up because it kept opening up and cutting me. But I don't think that this list would be complete if I didn't mention the absolute garbage. <laughs> and I, honestly, as terrible as this was to carry and to use... <clears throat> And I can't say it was terrible to carry. Uh, it was terrible terrible to have on me. But it was not terrible to carry. It actually fits in the pocket quite nice. A little nice little fidget factor with the one blade that is active. And you can also try to trim your fingernails on it in your pocket. So, the bad. For sure the bad. Uh, something else that you guys would probably recognize as part of the bad would be the Fox Radius. Again, beautiful blade love the contours love the shape it's everything from here down that is ass on this knife um some things that i got that i uh i, I liked but just really not enough to say you know what this is going to live in my pocket uh some of which are actually great knives of companies that i truly truly love like the uh the Vosteed thunderbird uh, very 940-ish. Um, I just, I just don't love it. You know, it's uh, it's a great knife. It truly is. It's great, but I just don't love it. It doesn't fit my carry. Um, Spyderco Shaman, amazing, awesome, beater, solid, strong knife. That's not going to let you down. I love their. Uh, they call it a compression lock. It's a liner lock on the back. But. Uh, yeah, love it. It's awesome. That's uh, that's in the good pile. We'll start that over here. Again, Spyderco PM2. Of course, I'm not going to flip it open properly. Uh, I changed out the scales on this. This was a gift from uh, from Will. And uh, I love this knife from the first moment. I, it's lived in my pocket. It's super stabby, super pointy, super sharp. Just an awesome, everyday, all-around knife. And yeah... Um, you can pick these up for relatively cheap, you know, $140, $150. And uh, something that's come up recently in some of the boards that I'm on, you cannot throw $200 scales on your $130 knife and say you have a $300 knife. This is still a $170 knife with really nice, awesome scales on it. There I go. So church it up as much as you want, you know. So that's also in the good. Um, things that I didn't don't really have much of an opinion on. Uh, Benchmade tagged out. This was given to me by Will after he after he uh, gave up the ghost and uh, 
I was crowned victorious in the Ship Knife Derby. It's a great little knife. I just, uh, I carried it for about a day. It's just, it's very light, it's very thin. Awesome little knife. Just, the blade just feels too thin for me to really be able to trust. I worry about it. It's a slicey little dude. I mean, look, it's got no, no secondary be bevel. The plunge line starts way up here. But it's a, it's a nice little thin slicer. It's designed for one purpose, and uh, I don't think I fulfilled that purpose. Um, but yeah, there's, a, there's so many wonderful knives out there. And uh, I, I started my, my cheaper knife experiments, and uh, I gotta say, I have had more fun with the cheaper knives than, uh, than I ever thought I would, to be perfectly honest with you. And Vosteed, Kaiser, Savivi, especially Savivi, especially Vosteed. Uh, they just make great stuff. Um, you know, the Raccoon, the great little knife. Just wish it had better steel. This would be a 9 out of 10 knife if this steel wasn't made out of tin foil. And I mean, that's one of the problems you're going to run into with the, the cheaper knives. And then you got your super ultra expensives, your Norsemans. It's so expensive, I can't justify carrying this. I'm afraid to use it because of the expense. And in a similar fashion, your Holtz as well. Uh, it's a great knife. Love the feel of it. Love the design. It's just simple mechanical perfection right there. It's put together amazing. Afraid to carry it. <laughs> uh, you got your... Your... your uh, there, giant mouse. Which one was this? The Ace? I can't remember. But it's it's a great little knife. It just doesn't feel. It just an extra half inch is all that needs. But it's a great little knife. Just not for me. Uh, your Benchmade Freaks. I love this. Uh, it is perfectly weighted. It is perfectly round the handle that is and it just it feels great in the hand I just didn't carry it for more than a few days and I couldn't tell you exactly why uh, the hinderer another it's a higher end my buddy Tom talked me into this one and uh, I am super pleased it's a great knife and uh, it's one of these that you know you'll spend just as much on pieces of the knife as you do for the knife itself uh, but it's one of the rare occasions where the more you dump into it, the more it's actually worth. Just because everything is so sought after, hard to find. Uh, maybe not the pocket clips. I custom did that pocket clip and it looks like liquefied assholes. But I changed the hardware, I changed the scales, I put skiff bearings in it. And it's a solid, good, heavy knife. Uh, this is, was a shocker. I didn't care for them when I bought it. And then it was just a great little knife. Awesome, heavy, everything you want. Great sound. But uh, I don't know if I really had to break it down to, say, top three new knives this year. Without a doubt. Without any question. The Vosteed Nightshade is in there is in the top three without a without a single bit of doubt uh, without any hesitation also in here is a knife that I still don't have even though I bought it twice this year Civivi Elementum and uh, my third favorite knife of the year um, it's something that you know it's just I've heard seen a lot of people talk about it uh, and it's not gonna be the the Sabenza sadly enough I got this close to the close to the second end of the second half of the year you know like maybe you know three quarters of the way through and I just didn't have enough time to carry it because I sent it out immediately to be sharpened professionally and uh, I got it back I put the lanyard on it I hate the lanyard so it hasn't seen much pocket time so I can't say that I love it or not I love the feel of it in pocket except for the lanyard and uh, it I mean it's stupid sharp now like you could you could shave a gnat's ass with this thing my brother-in-law's name is Nat. I don't know how to shave his ass with his knife. But uh, I guess the other favorite I have, aside from the Civivi Elementum that was stolen from me, right now is this little QSP Penguin. Uh, it's just a great little awesome knife. And uh, uh, there will be more in-depth review on this guy coming up. But uh, you want my tops and my bottoms? Definitely the tops. 
bottoms. Uh, without a doubt, Hogue Deca, cheap, chintzy, shitty polymer scales is what killed this knife. That and the fact that it's only got it's only got a liner about halfway. I just there's no need for them to skimp on this knife. It's it could could have been great, but they chose to not let it be. Uh, another bottom of the pile. Giant mouse. It just it just doesn't fit right. It would be great, but it just isn't. And uh, of course, everyone knows the Fox Radius garbage knife. Absolute shit. And uh, so now my kids are in here and they're looking at me funny. I guess that's time to wrap it up. So, Merry Christmas, guys. Happy New Year. And uh, I don't know, what can I say? Kisses.